Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Coffin Comic Shopping Network. show because of the time change instead of being on way later at night joseph what's up man how are you jay eric oh my regulars are here Haley, you guys all saw that time change Woo yay hope everyone had a wonderful halloween <laughs> moonshine mel is sending me messages keep me up to date on a couple things Let's see if I can get this up and running. There we go. Here I am. There's my store. Hi, everybody. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Hope everyone had a great Halloween, considering all the weirdness in our world. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Dude, I am so hungry right now, I could go for some chicken dinner. Well, cool. I'm glad it worked out, Haley. I was worried because we were going to be doing have to do it after hours uh, from 5 to 6 and I'm like I'm going to be in the office all by myself that's sad but I'd still have fun with you guys but I think it would throw off you guys too because everyone's used to the little afternoon show so I'm glad this could work out thank you everyone over at CBSN for um, giving us this slot between 3 and 4 I actually kind of like this time better um, it seems like already all you are popping up um, so it looks like everyone else is, uh, enjoying it too. It's good to see everyone. Um, when I count of three, if I could get everyone to, uh, give me, uh, one word, your Halloween weekend, or if you want to do a sentence, go for it. I want to hear some shout outs. Um, yeah, Haley, it's interesting. The state of Arizona, we don't change our times for nobody, nobody, um, but since we're on a network that shifts around times, um, I do have to adjust for everyone else. So it, it, it is weird living in a state where you never have to change your clots going forward or back or anything like that. And then when the rest of the world does it, you're like, I feel like a rebel, but I feel like I'm left out. Eh, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I don't think, um, I don't know, really know what that does. I know there was a reason why they did daylight savings times. I just don't understand it. Oh, yes, Eric, um, is your wife okay? I hope so. Um, this is news to me. Um, please let us know. I mean, we're all a little tight group of uh, folks in here, and everyone's got each other's back, I feel, in this room and, and in this shop and with our customers. I feel like all you guys have our backs all the time. Um, so we're a big family here. Um, everyone here pretty much knows each other. Everyone has fun. Everyone introduce yourself. I still want to know who had a fun Halloween. Tell me what you guys did. I'm going to show you guys off some of the stuff I got on at the catacombs right now. So without further ado, here we go. I have Lady Death Killers. This is a ghost edition number three. This is a number three. It comes with the number three. C-O-A. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be the first thing I have on there. Also, um, everyone who's been shopping at the catacombs, holy cow, you guys uh, really like the stuff uh, I've been putting up up there because it's going as fast as I can put it up there. And it seems like a lot of y'all are scooping up the minute things go live to snag. I mean, holy cow, man. It's like a feeding friends of, with comic book piranha fans. <laughs> Another number three. I got the Lady Death Celebration time. Come on. Yeah. It's the Lady Death Celebration cover, people. Classic, classic cover by Mr. Stephen Hughes, the legend, the man. Yeah. I love that guy. Uh, anybody who uh, in the 90s who got a chance to meet uh, Mr. Hughes, um, that guy was a cool cat and very slick. That guy had some style. That guy had some swagger. That dude had it going on. He's a really amazing guy. So 
it's always great when I find some old classic covers right here um, to present to you guys. Someone try to come into the room. Who's knock, knock, knocking at my door? Must have been Brandy. Brandy sometimes likes to run around tapping on the doors. So, I have a publisher file up I put up for you guys. I love this one. This is La Muerta Last Rites. This is the Scarlet C edition. This is a publisher file. As you can see, there it is, number C. There was only 40 of this made. And I did pack it with the beautiful Coffin Comics Certificate of Authenticity. Pardon me. Pardon me. Heartburn, heartburn, heartburn. I ate my lunch a little fast. I apologize if I'm a little burpy today. Um, my apologies and excuse me in advance. Uh, another stunning book, everybody. I love this. This is a Jamie Tyndall cover. It is a mock-up, and it is a mock-up of the Hell Witch, Hellborn, Foil Edition. It's the only one I've seen so far. This is a mock-up, so the interiors are blank. Nevermore, yeah. Uh, my Halloween was pretty chill. We just kind of, my wife and I uh, celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary, so we had our niece and nephew with us all weekend, so... Um, mostly a lot of family, uh, kid costuming, and, you know, just doing whatever you can to keep the kids entertained, um, for the Halloween season, so we had a lot of fun, built a gazebo, yay, I have shade in my front courtyard now, and we can all chill and enjoy coffee in the morning, um, so, yeah, um, I didn't get a lot of chocolate like I had hoped, um, if I did, I think Lady Death t-shirt would be out to here by now, so I didn't get a lot of chocolate, um, but I did get a few nibbles, so I feel good about myself with that, because, um, yeah, if I stretch out at any forward, I'm going to be knocking over stuff doing my shows for you guys, because sometimes I have cramped space, so it's like, Arr! and I can't wait till the election's done here in the United States, so I can stop getting these annoying texts and phone calls and all that other jar uh, garbage they keep sending us, so anyways... Happy anniversary. Thank you, Jay. It was a really good weekend. Um, everyone seemed to have worked this Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a nice weekend. Um, it, the weather's finally beautiful here in Arizona, folks. So those of you who are natives know exactly what I'm talking about. Beautiful weather this weekend. Hopefully we can continue it on and maybe get some bloody rain for a change. Another classic. This is a previous exclusive, guys. This is from probably one of the earliest uh, Coffin comic books uh, we published. This is Lady Death Visions. It's pretty much um, as is because they have little... Uh, I can say this thing's pretty old. It's got a little bit of spine damage along there. This is an artist proof. This book is old. Uh, I want to say... If you recall, I want to say 2010-ish, roughly, roughly. Another beautiful, beautiful book. This is an AP, an Artist Proof 5. Dan Harrigan, who is the man. This is the Lady Death Visions Leatherette Edition. It's a great homage to Return of the Living Dead. The old skull from, or the zombie punk from there, as soon as I saw this, it's like, is that what I think it is? And sure enough, there it is. Got one of these, one of these. And always, anytime I present you guys with a hollow foil, I must warn you, please do not look at these in direct sunlight. You can go blind. And it is a number three out of 99. Uh, Stephen Butler is the artist, along with Dan Feldmeyer. This is the hollow foil version of Monster of Deathenstein. This is a number three. It's a hollow foil cover. Look at how beautiful that is. It's one thing I like about our stuff is our homages are great year round. Absolutely beautiful. Got another BP for all you BP fans out there. I have uh, Lady Death Damnation Game. This is Death the Barbarian Emerald Edition. This is offered at offered. This is offered at the Emerald City Comic Con, um, not last year, but the year prior. Um, was it last year? Yeah, 2019. Gosh, man, the way things are going, it just 
time seems to stand still and fly by at the same time. And there was variations of these too, folks. I don't know if a lot of you know. Um, I've seen variations where this has uh, been blue and brown in the regular edition. So I think it was like a one in five of these um, had the blue fur in the costume uh, instead of the brown. So there is variations of these, like uh, Brian likes to do sometimes when he's making books. Some editions, um, sometimes one in five or one in 10, he'll do a color variation on something um, on that cover. Uh, some folks catch it, some don't. Um, sometimes it's real subtle, sometimes it's very noticeable. So uh, be on the lookout for those, especially on the homages uh, randomly. I haven't seen one in about, it was late last year, but they're out there, um, and they're very cool. Um, sometimes people catch them, sometimes don't. Uh, for all you Yo-Yo fans, I actually was able to get myself, this is a Lady Death Icon Yo-Yo number one. Uh, this is number 98 out of 99. This could be my last one. This is not remarked. This is just the last copy I have found so far. Um... Yo-Yo is one of my favorite artists that we have here that does contribute some, some really beautiful cover art uh, to Coffin Comics. So, um, very nice piece. I really love her art style. Um, it's very um, cutesy, innocent, but still has that hard edge to it that you know it. that's a Lady Death cover for sure. Another classic for you all. This is the All Hollows Evil. Dead Queen. This is an AP 4 out of 5. Only 66 of this were made. Another very early Coffin Comics book. Get it while I have them. Because once these are gone, that is it. Unless I can find another one. Um, sometimes I wish I could play some fun theme music. Also, this edition is signed, everybody. Sign, 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 and there is a COA, red COA on the back. Oh, classic old school jeweled edition right here, folks. Lady Death, Hot Shots 1. This is the Queen edition. Man, this is just stunning. This is a number three as well. This is it. I have yet to find an AP or a BP of this edition. It has Schwarzky crystals. Schwarzky crystals. Wow, this thing is beautiful. It's number three edition. And yes, it does have the number three COA. All right, another publisher file I found for y'all. This is the Hellwitch Gallery number one sketch edition. And this is a crimson line. There was only 20 of this published. This is one of the 20. This is a publisher file copy. Has the beautiful silver sticker and the amazing silver COA. So this is the only one I have. Most of the stuff I have here at the catacombs are onesie items, sometimes twosie. But heck, if I have a good amount of number, I'm still going to put it up there and I'm going to pimp it for you guys because you guys are the fans and I know you guys love some of the books we put out. Now, this one's really cool. I really like this one. I didn't even know uh, there was a metal version of this until recently. This is the Amazing Lady Death Killers number one. This is the Amazing Metal Edition. And this is an artist proof, an AP3. AP3. This is a metal cover. Marat Michaels, Dan Filmmeyer. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hi, David. How are you? Welcome to the club. How are you doing today? How was your Halloween, by the way? Everyone, welcome David. He's new to it. Um, actually, just kicked... Uh, uh, Haley, just click on the catacombs. That'll be up on the front page of the store. Uh, should be the top row. I believe it's the third... Uh, text you should see up there should be catacombs. Click on that. Also, some stuff you'll find in Nick and Dent. Um, eBay won't let me put out um, the naughty or risque stuff, uh, so I took it all down. They are now on the Scratch and Dent over at the Coffin Comics shop. Um, just click on the links and do some shopping, do some uh, looking around. There's always a lot of fun stuff in there. So check out their uh, 
Haley and everybody for most of what I'm showing you right now are in the catacombs. Um, probably with the time shape, it'll probably be four o'clock, you'll start seeing that stuff go live. Um, I forgot, there's a time change. Ugh, I'm not used to that. Uh, anyways, a couple of things that will be going live also around four o'clock, four o'clock today. Um, I found a risque Heartless from the Hellwitch Forsaken. This one is signed. There's a signature up top there. This is a risque version. It is a scratch and dent, so it's sold as is. Uh, same here, Hellwitch Risque Tantalizer by Don McTague. This is number $799. Again, sold as is. Really good price. I only got the one. Since I can't put uh, the term risque or naughty on eBay, well, shucky darn. And why is it this thing kicks me out of the show? There we go. This thing, I hate how this thing works sometimes. Come on. There we go. You are quite welcome, Haley. Well, normally the stuff will populate before the show, but with the time change, um, yeah, it'll be, you'll probably see all the stuff I just showed you pop up around 4 p.m. So everyone... Heads up, 4 p.m. you'll see this stuff pop up and go live. Uh, a couple other things I wanted to show you guys. Um, we had a huge promotion for uh, metallic cards. Metallic cards are a really popular item. Um, they are something unique. I have not seen them until I started working here for Coffin Comics. Same with the metallic covers. Well, we did metallic cards too. We are having an amazing promo where uh, a lot of the large selection are now down to $10 a card. That's uh, down from 12 So scoop up some of the ones you see. They are going real quick. Here's some samples. And some of these, we probably have less than 10 of what I'm about to show you. So if you see them, jump on them, get them. Um, there's also tons of other selection of metal cards. So... There's some going for 10, some going for 12. Check them out. These are very unique pieces. They are the size of your basic trading card like you would get in a pack of baseball cards or Star Wars cards or Magic the Trading uh Magic the Gathering b -b 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 trading cards. Exact same size, standard size. Here's one of the examples of what we have here on the store, Coffin Comic Shop. This is the Lady Death Wars. This is the Odyssey. Boom. Lady Death Odyssey figure. We have one of these left. So you, probably by the time I've started the show, yes, I probably only have one left. I also have the Captain Death. This is homage to Captain America number one. This is a metal card. Yep, metal card, metal card, metal card. We got these going for a great price. So, uh, David, where are you joining us from? And we have a new gentleman, too, uh, Kyung Do. Uh, I hope I'm not uh, mispronouncing your name any. 4 p.m., Eric. 4 p.m., they're going to start dropping. I have the Metallic Card Black and White. It's another item we've been doing on our sale. They are going quick. These have done really, really well. Uh, here at Coffin Comics, just click on the links to do your shopping. You'll see the Coffin Comics shop link. You'll see the catacombs where I put a lot of the very rare and hard to find stuff. Yeah, my time, Arizona time. Yeah, time changes really freak me out, man. I don't get it. Um, living in Portland, I had to do adjust to it. Hey, everybody, round of applause. We got New Jersey in the house. David from New Jersey is in the house watching. Everyone welcome him. Everyone, if you're new in here, give a shout out where you're watching. Um, <laughs> uh, make sure uh, you make him feel welcome. Please, 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 everybody. We got new people in here. Thank you very much, Jay. Thanks for making everyone feel welcome here. Um, another metallic card we have, the Bud Root. Bud Root, this is a beautiful piece. And it sounds like there's some weird cricket. There is a cricket chirping somewhere in here. I'm going to have to chase off the cricket. Shut up, Mr. Cricket! All right. Another thing we have up, and these are a great deal for these metallic cards, this is the negligee. 
negligee. Click on the link for the Coffin Comic Shop. Everybody, I love you guys. Thank you, everybody, for making them feel welcome. I love that you guys do that. Um, David, we are a publisher based out of here in Arizona. Um, we have a really great group of uh, fans, uh, the Sworn and the Fiends here that meet up. Um, it's just a fun little show that we do, kind of pimping our wares and showing you some of the fun stuff that we publish and put out and some of the stuff we promote on Kickstarters. So I hope you feel welcome. And if you have any questions, everyone in the group is an amazing person and they're always willing to help folks. I hope that's not Brandy making that noise because it's coming from behind me and I'm the only one in here, Miguel, and it's not Halloween, so it should be scaring the bejeebus out of me. Troy, how you doing? How's it going, Mr. Ambassador? Uh, another beautiful metallic card we have is Lady Death, Menage et Moi. Moi. It's a beautiful piece. Look at that. Very beautiful piece. These are the metallic cards we have. We have dropped uh, some of our metallic cards prices to $10 from $12. So get it while you can. If there's something you've been hinting and hawing about and you see it, these metal cards are going quick, guys. Really, really quick. Troy, how is your Halloween? How is Gidget? I hope everyone is well. This is the Go Ass. Well, thank you, dude. Thank you for coming. And the economic guys are amazing, dude. Those guys are sick, as they would say. <laughs> uh, this is going real fast. Uh, the Demonic, Lady Death Demonic. I think we are probably sold out of these. Um, but these are going quick. These metal cards are not lasting long at all. They're going fast. Just click on the link to do your shopping. Here's another really cool one. We have the Creepy Crawler in gold. And we have the Creeper Crawler in silver. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Tis the season where I can sing that song. So, ha 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 ha. If I have to suffer with Christmas music, so do you. <laughs> yep, I'm nuts. I'm crazy. So these are just some samples of the metallic cards we have on the store. Uh, they are going for about $10. So you'll see a selection for $12, selection for $10. Get them if you've really been interested in picking up a certain metallic card. Don't delay. They are going quickly. Just to pull some samples uh, I wanted to show you guys today. Um, it's slim pickings. It's slim pickings. So get in there. Scoop up the metallic card you want to. Brian will do his amazing small signature anywhere on the card. And then he'll slide a nice little COA and send it out to you. So... Let me give you one quick second. Let me grab a drink real quick. I am parched. I am thirsty. And I need a drink. Ah, oh, thank God for filter water. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay, so the catacombs I've had going on for, well, we're almost down to a month. So a lot of that stuff has really, 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 really been going quick. Let's see. Do a little song every time, okay. Oh, dude, Jay, that's good to hear. Thank you very much uh, for keeping us up to date uh, with your wife. I'm glad she's doing well. Um, give her all of us here in the room and here at Coffin Comics. This is a big virtual hug for her. Hope she feels better. Take good care of her. Um, and if there's anything I can do for you, Jay, just let me know, okay, man? And oh my God, I can't wait for the election to be done. Um, yeah, he has signed guitar, guitar ticks. I don't know how Brian signs as small as he does. It's crazy. You know what? I'm going to say, I have an amazing group of watchers on this show. So we've been doing the uh, catacombs for a while. And it's done really well. There's a lot of really cool stuff that has been flying out. And uh, I just want to show you guys what's left. It's, it's, there's not much. It's going quick. Um, seems like every time they, uh, they get the catacombs uploaded, uh, 
things are already gone. Um, sometimes right as they put it uh, up, the code and them tell me they're just snagging it and snagging it. So you want to find some really fun, unique um, items, onesies, twosies, small, uh, real small edition runs. The catacombs is the place you want to find. This is where you'll find things like mock-ups, artist proofs, um, warehouse finds. Sometimes it's the last one we've had and we didn't even know we had it. So a lot of really fun stuff. Um, some of my stuff kind of signed. They're already pre-signed. There's nothing I can do about it. But hey, you get a nice signed copy with the COA with it and every signature. So just remember that. Some things that are left on the catacombs. And these are it. I only have the ones um, on them, pretty much. Uh, for example, the Blasphemy Anthem Legend Noir mock-up. This is it. This is the only mock-up I have for this Legend Noir that I can sell. So if you see what you like, get it. Um, Christmas is coming up, so... Um, Everyone make out your little Christmas list to that Sanders little helper in your life and be like, hey, I'm looking at this. You can find it here. Boom. Um, make those Christmas. Christmas lists are great to help those in your family members who um, might know what you like, but they just are like, oh, whoa, what exactly is it? it? It's a really nice thing to say, hey, I love you. Here's uh, my list, Santa's Little Helper. Here's where you can find your stuff. I used to love to do that for my mom and other family members because they would never know what to get me. And they would just give me gift certificates. I'm like, no, I, I want this. The gift certificate is great because I love it because I can buy whatever I want. But this is the specific item. So if you make those Christmas lists, I still make one for my mom sometimes. She asks for them. She loves it. So I ain't going to take that away from her. Another thing we got on here... This is a three-book set. This is the La Muerta Ascension Legend set. All cover images are done by Ibas, also known as Eric Basaluda. This is it. I got one set. One set of three. There was only 50 of this three-pack made. Only 50 made. Hi, Brandy. How are you? Everybody, look, we have a special guest. Brandy's in the house. There she goes. There's her hands. There's her hands. You can see her watch. Hey, she's wearing green. Actually, yeah, that's very forced green. Actually, that's a nice shade of green. Yeah, it's fit. It's nice it's and my dark. Favorite color. I think it Green's should fit. Green's my favorite color. It's dark. It's spooky. <laughs> Checking my camera angle. See, I'm in frame. Ooh. You are do Ooh. Ooh. doing it. You're doing it. Okay. Okay, I got to, Haley tasked me with trying to sing songs for every book I pull out, so. Okay, go. It's red, it's crimson, it's metal, Lady Satanus, AP number five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Haley, what did you do? <laughs> Hi, Haley. <laughs> so I have a Lady Satanus. This is an artist proof number four. This is a metal cover. We didn't Beautiful. make many of these No, at all. we did not. So I think, was it 13? And they were just randomly yep. tipped in. So I yep. got one here for you guys to scoop up right now. Hi, so, Jay. Hi, Eric. Look at everybody. Everyone say hi. Hi. <laughs> we love everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Elliot, everyone was ready to go at 3 o'clock with the new nice. time. It's great. Nice. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Haley, I don't think you want him singing in your okay. band. No, Haley says we're start you're starting a band. And La Muerta, <laughs> Calavera, cover from Descent. It's got jewels, it's got jewels, I'm jewels. That's what they call me sometimes. I've got two for you right now. I only have two left. <laughs> thank you for the challenge, Haley. <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> she wanted me to sing, introduce well, each edition and try to sing a song about it. So, good oh, challenge, Haley. Oh, this one's my favorite. Yeah, I know. That Eva's legend set is gorgeous. So, so beautiful. I still have some signed copies of the Naughty Celestial edition, guys. Mm -hmm. Three left. That's it. These are signed. I have a COA prepackaged. Get it while I got it because mm -hmm. they're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. This is the last of the Unholy Ruin homage editions by Marat nice. Michaels. This is it. 
My last copy. Die, die, die. Get it, get it, get it. Because it'll drop off and go away. What are you whispering over there, Brandy? <laughs> There's microphones. It's chanting. Sorry, hear you. It's chanting. Hooligan is better than New Kids on the Block. Whoa, Whoa. Miguel. Whoa. <laughs> right. Oh, Miguel. Then we're fighting. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> then we're fighting. Let's go. Oh, Miguel, on, you're a dead it. man. <laughs> bring it. Bring it. Let's go. Another publisher copy. Only 20 were made of this by Richard Ortiz. This is the La Muerta Descent sketch, Violet Edition. So, one left of those. This is all stuff that we have left in the catacombs. They are going quick, everybody. I still got the Reckoning Homage Classic 3 pack with Remark from Dan Mendoza. What are they saying now? Nice. Troy says, number one hit tune by Brandy and the Sparkles. Lick it. <laughs> Lick it. Lick it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I love you, everybody. Have a great day. Okay. She does lick the boxes and packaging people. I'm Don't not kidding. you tell them what You I tell them already. Shh, you know nothing. It's all over the internet. <laughs> everybody, that was a nice visit from Brandy. She is our warehouse manager. She, uh, she's the one that decides how fast we can get stuff packed and picked and thrown out to you guys uh, in a safely manner. She really prides herself and the staff on making sure they do some of the best packaging they can make for you. So they take a really a lot of, a lot of effort to make sure the packing is the best it can be. So that's the person you have to thank for that. Anytime you get your shipments out to you in a timely manner and they're packed safely, it's because Brandy was the one that really 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 strove and trained everyone to do a good job just for you guys another couple items that are left on the catacombs some of these will be dropping off about a week or two poof gone you can message me if you're interested and if I still have it um, like I say just send me a message and I'll see what I can do for you I have the chaos rules number one this is the superstar this is a metal cover homage to the one the immortal, the beautiful Marilyn Monroe. We also have a metallic jewel edition from La Muerta. This is number 49 out of 50. To my knowledge, all I have is a vault copy and one or two of these, and that's all that's left of this edition. And my God, my hiccups are not going away. This is horrible. I'm sorry. You have to hear my hiccups. I apologize. Okay, are we ready? Lady Death, Apocalyptic Abyss, Numero Uno, it's the Jeweled Edition. There you go. This is signed by Brian. This has Schwartzky crystals in it right up here on the necklace and the bust line of her dress and also along the breast, that's not a breast. Wow, that's a hell of a belt buckle she's got there. But it does have crystals inside of it. This thing is beautiful. This is the last one. It is signed. There is a COA. That's it. Once these are done, that is it for the Apocalyptic Abyss Jeweled Editions, um, which I only know the two which I had originally put on eBay, but took them down for you guys. I still have a Lady Death. Scorched Earth. This is the homage edition and it has a remark by Mr. Butler. Last one, the only one. This is a Lady Death Scorched Earth homage with remark by Dan Feldman. Stephen Butler. <laughs> oh, all right, excuse me. Woo! Oh, that'll wake you up. All right. Next up, another item we are, I'm almost out of, and I think this is also the very last one. This is Lady Death Nightmare Symphony number one. This is the jeweled edition as well. It's my only copy I have, period. I have yet to find anything like this in the vaults either, so. Usually I don't see a lot of these uh, Kickstarter editions that um, have vault copies. I hardly ever see them. They usually are just gone. Got another AP 
for all you fans out there of uh, Artist Proofs and Betty Page. And of course, beautiful cover art on a Lady Death book. This is the Damnation Game Pinup Metal Edition. I only have this one. This is an AP4. That's it. If I have another one, I will definitely introduce it on here. But once that is gone, that is gone. Um, I couldn't even find vault copies of those metal editions yet either. <clears throat> Speaking of more homages, I still have a La Muerta Ascension homage. It's the homaging of Punisher 1. So I have two copies left of this edition. Questions? What do we got here? All right. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. The horny punk. Oh my God. You guys. You guys think of the craziest things when it comes to branding. Swear. Swear. Okay. I also have a jaunt into darkness hollow foil. This one is signed by Brian, and I did put a silver COA in the back of that. So, last one, last one, last one. And now, the time is near, and so we face the final curtain. No, not really. Um, Merciless Onslaught, Karamiya. This is 137 out of 150. To my knowledge, this is the last cover. This is it. Last of the last. Get it while I got it, or else it's going to go away for a while. Don't know how long, but it will go away once I take them down. Wow, you guys really have not left me much at all. I still got a couple left of the uh, Zack the Zombie Exterminator, Exterminator uh, preview. These are signed by Brian. I have three left. That's all I have for you when it comes to those editions. As you can see, there is. this is the first two weeks of the catacombs. This is what's left. And the first week, uh, the first show of catacombs, I believe I put at least 30 items on. And they're almost all gone. Uh, some of them had more than one. There was twos and threes. Some I even had ten. But the stock is going down fast. So um, don't delay. Pick it up. Send me a message if there's something you're looking for you think you missed. Just let me know. Um, anyone on here knows that if you message me uh, via Facebook or whatever, I'll try to get to you as fast as I can and see if I have it. Um, a couple of you guys message me all the time. So I'm there for you if you need me. Just let me know. So I wanted to show you guys um, the Hell Witch Kickstarter. Um, good golly, Miss Molly, that thing is really just taken off like a rocket. And uh, thank you guys. Um, we can't do it without you. So that's all because of you guys. Just spreading the words uh, to letting everyone know about Coffin Comics. Letting everyone know that Brian is back producing comics. That he is finally back uh, home creating new stories for Lady Death um, to put out there for you guys. And all you fans and you fiends and the sworn. So I wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff. If you're not familiar with our Kickstarter campaigns. This is Hell Witch, Chapter 3, Sacrilegious. And I want to show you guys some of the cool stuff we got on there. <clears throat> Pardon me. There you go. Right, so right there is laying out books for Brian to sign. Ooh, look at all that. Just show you a sample of what we do. In here, I believe you saw the wild Halloween party shenanigans we did for you guys. Ace, welcome to the show, man. How are you? How was your weekend? Uh oh, Jimmy's in here. Oh, he's gonna drink. Welcome, welcome. Jimmy, everyone, Jimmy. Look, first time at the show hey, in a long hey, time. It's Jimmy. Yeah, hey, everybody. So check Jimmy, we're out. showing him all this cool stuff. Yeah, check this out. We just dropped this. I don't Whoa! Know if you saw this. Whoa! The Mendoza original art edition. We just dropped. So we're going to throw your name into the Coffin Cauldron. If you pledge the Kickstarter, you'll get a chance to be uh, pulled, and you can possibly win this. Original Receive art. Receive this original art by Dan wow. Mendoza. And we also had the... Uh, 
Joe Gomez, Joe one Gomez came in last week. Well, yeah. Wow, look at that, guys. Just for backing us on Kickstarter, you, you can chance. receive one of these. Just some lucky backer, we're just going to pull their number, read it off, and be like, bam. And yeah. first we spin it to yep. see which one you get because you got so many more. We got so there. many cool stuff to just tip in for you guys. Tip the ins. Lemon, ash can. Lemon twist. The uh, violet. Violet ash can. The hollow foil. That is beautiful. Yeah, that, so that really pops. Hollow foil ash can. I know. This is like limited, what, 25? No one has this. We got some vault, juicy vault items that uh, I grabbed. Out and it seems like everyone's here. winning vault items. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Let's point this back at you because you're going to be walking around. I'm going to be walking around that way. There we go. So, yeah, guys, look yeah, at this. Yeah, yeah. New stuff that this today we're going to announce this. So. Just for our backers. Four o'clock. We're gonna we're gonna spin the wheel right after this some, show. Uh, post some folks. Hey, did you also show oh, this? No, I haven't got. Oh, look at the violet medals, guys. Oh hell. We yeah. are gonna tip these in. Just imagine that there's sensor bars here. So yes, <laughs> fingers, finger cinchers. Bing. It's kind of like that hipster mustache thing you used to draw on your fingers at the bars. Yeah, yeah. I played that drinking game many times. So here is the metallic jeweled edition. This is the Risqué Subjugator. This one right here is the Risqué Voyeur edition. Oh, that is really beautiful, guys. This is everything you can get on our new Hell Witch Kickstarter. This, this is the uh, Risqué Ritual. These are the Violet Metals. We are just going to tip these in. There's only going to be 13 of these made. I will be making these 13, and then they will just be randomly dropped in throughout the campaign. And even as people just got the, the uh, premiere edition, yes, yes they are, Haley, they are gorgeous. And if you're not familiar with Hell Witch, and you want to back us, and you're like, well, where do I start? Well, heck, right here, chapter one, Hellborn. Chapter 2, The Forsaken, and then back us for Chapter 3, Sacrilegious. We make things a lot of fun here. We always try to make comic collecting fun. Um, it's, it's, it's a hoot to work here and just have these beautiful people be your customers because they are a lot of fun. Some more editions we'll be throwing out here. This is the Risqué edition, Sun K. Look at that. That is beautiful. Here's another one of those hollow foil ash cans that we are just going to randomly uh, pull a backer number out of the cauldron. And if the wheel spins, then boom, you'll win. So you'll receive whatever's on there. So there's vault items. There's the ash can violet, ash can lemon. There's the Mendoza original art we were telling you about. There's the hollow foil down in there, and then the original Art Gomez as well. So we don't play around. We uh, <laughs> we make uh, coffin comics collecting a lot of fun. Um, there's the heavy metal edition. I believe there was only gonna be like 26 made of that. It's a crazy number, crazy low numbers. But this is the stuff we are having on our Kickstarter. This is a stuff that if we pull your number and we spin you, you can receive that in your order. Just tipped in, blink, blink, original art, Mendoza, Gomez, lemon ash can, violet ash can, hollow foil ash can. Guys, we don't play around here at Coffin Comics. We're all pretty legit when it comes to making sure you guys get some amazing deals. Check this out. Value proposition. Each physical wards, free, all unlocked free bonus items, free U.S. shipping, free digital download, free Brian Polito autograph and certificate of authenticity, optional if you choose to have your book signed. It's really easy to do. Go to Kickstarter, sign up, start, a collect, start your account today and back us. There's a lot of really good projects. People can back a lot of stuff. We are so lucky and blessed to have repeat people coming back, backing us, and having a great time with us. Because we are all about having fun, creating all these beautiful comics for all you bad boys and girls out there. These are the 
mystery envelope editions. Here's some samplings of just what is randomly put inside a mystery envelope. About that size. Any one combination of these, there's naughty versions, there is nice versions. Necro sketches, those are very popular and those are very beautiful. I will ship chocolate covered bacon for a violet metal. Dude, it better be 10 pounds of chocolate covered bacon. Trust me, because my gut and waistband will expand. I might pop. I might even die, Jay. But I'll try to give you that violet metal, metal cover <laughs> for chocolate covered bacon. Hell yeah. Some other things we randomly put inside the mystery envelopes artist proof editions and publisher files. Um, like I say, we're. we're <laughs> we definitely, I feel like we are like the uh, Cracker Jacks of uh, comic book publishing because you never know what kind of surprise you're going to get when we put it inside a mystery envelope or anything like that. So this is the promotion that we ended last week. This is the coffin-shaped books. Um, these are being made as we speak so we can get them shipped out to everyone in a timely manner. So as you can see, we like to think outside the box. We like to do things differently. Um, we like to make collect, collect, collecting fun. <laughs> Gosh, I need more coffee. Here we go. These. Oh, and did I, I forgot to mention, guys, we got pogs. We have pogs we're going to be putting into our free bonus packs. Pogs. That's right. You heard it here. All you 90s kids that are scratching your ears like, did I really just hear the pogs? Yes, you dear hear pogs. We... Putting those into our uh, free bonus rewards. So check out all this beautiful stuff we are handing out. Here's the Metallic cards right here, folks. There's a Metallic card set in our Kickstarter. These five, six cards. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and again, just to taunt everyone, Violet Metal. Violet Metal covers. I can't wait to make these. Here's some of the prints we are also offering on our Kickstarter. So guys, don't hesitate. We try to make comic... Actually, we don't try. We do make comic book collecting fun again. We make the crazy editions. We make the foil covers. We make the metal covers. We make the jewel covers. We make it all, and we do it all right. Hey, look at that. Look at that beautiful door I get to walk into every day. Go to our full skulls. That's right, people. We don't play here at Coffin Comics. Let's head back into the little boutique. Okay. All right. Bink. Turn that around. Bink. So anybody who's new to the Coffin Comics shopping network, say, uh, we only promote our books, uh, the books of Brian Polito, um, that's who we're about. We have some of the best fans in comicdom. And I challenge that to any publisher out there. I know we have the best fans. Because I've never seen so much love come that way towards a publisher uh, until I started working here. So thank you, everybody. It's been uh, pure joy to help you guys and work with you guys. Uh, let's see. Bunk? No, I'm afraid of bunks because I'll fall down on the bunk beds, Eric. Um, yeah. Bink, bink, rinky dink, biddle of bink. Yes, bink. Why are we doing bunk and binks and whatnot? What game are we playing here, Eric? What are we doing here? What are we doing? Bingo? I'm into bingo. I'm terrible at it, but I'm into bingo. All right, real quick, I want to see if I can, if there's anyone on here I can bring on cameras. Let's see. All right, you know what? Let's throw Jay Taylor on. Let's throw Jay Taylor on. Jay, if... You accept my, there we go. Let's see if we can get Jay on here. Only got a few minutes, about 10 minutes. Spend that 10 minutes with Uber fan, Jay Taylor. Okay, Jay doesn't want to be on film. So anyways, real quick guys. Uh, so this is going to be the new time. Three o'clock um, is the time. So 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Arizona time. Um, what is that? Mountain Standard Time, I think, where we're at right now. So 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, 
every Monday here. This is the CCSN and the CBSN. Wow, I can't believe I got that right. Woo! Thank God. Uh, anyways, this is the stuff that's in the catacombs. They are selling out. I have sold out of a lot of editions, including a Metal Legend edition um, for Blasphemy Anthem uh, just sold out. Uh, the past week or so. So I put legend sets on there. If you uh, have back previous Kickstarters and you're like, oh, I didn't get that legend set. If I have any to sell, nine times out of 10, you're going to find them on the catacombs. Usually I'll have one or two left, if even that, because most of that stuff never even gets anywhere near my desk because they sell out so fast and the demand is really high. Um, so catacombs is where you want to go for that really fun, rare item very limited item so you'll find that all the catacombs and i'll even put up stuff that's it's not all going to be high dollar stuff i'll put some uh low dollar stuff in there because i know there's some people that can get uh some of the high-end stuff so uh, check the scratch and dents as well both at the coffin comic shop and on the ebay store i have uploaded a ton of scratch and dents if you guys are looking for really good deals and you want a good reader loader copy that you're not afraid to borrow or let someone read, well, I have plenty of that stock on the eBay store. Just go to the Coffee Conks uh, eBay store, check around in there, and that is where you will find some really good deals, as well as direct market uh, additions and items that um, both the store and the eBay store have. So I try to keep it up there, um, try to keep stuff uh, loaded as quickly as possible. Um, I've got a lot of customers from out in Europe that have been scooping up a lot of additions. So, um, stuff on eBay is still continuing to move out. Um, warehouse finds are slightly different. Those are like, Hey, uh, like stuff they had taken down cause it was for a holiday or a certain promotion. And as they're going through just inventorying, those will just pop up. Um, but who knows, maybe we'll incorporate that into the catacombs. Um, because there's a lot of cool stuff that we find time to time, especially uh, Brandy and Dakota. They're always, you know, finding something unique or new. So that is a good question, Eric. Um, I'm sure they'll probably keep them both up. Because like I say, warehouse finds sometimes they'll just find, oh, hey, we found a case of this edition um, in an offsite somewhere. So they'll put it on there. So I think it should still be going the same. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Got here. Okay, I got a few minutes left. Um, there has been some really uh, fun, crazy things going on here at HQ. Um, 2020 was a weird year, but we've adapted to it, and we I think we made this year our own. We controlled it instead of it controlling us. So I just want to say, uh, because of that, we moved Sworn Fest to 2022 instead of 2021, which would have been February, which is really right around the corner. Uh, a lot of folks uh, who were coming from out of country wouldn't have been able to make it. Um, so that's why we just moved it back a year so we can make sure everyone can make it. Uh, with Fiend Fest, it was a blast and this is gonna be even bigger and better. And I'm glad we changed the dates because it wouldn't be an event unless you all are there with us. It's like a big family party here. Everyone is really close knit. Uh, everyone in the community uh, for Coffin Comics are just the biggest fans, and we are so blessed to have these fans. And you got to be there for an event. It's a con unlike anything I've ever experienced, and I've done lots of cons in my 26 years of doing comic book retail. So let me tell you something. I had the most fun at a show in a long time, and I never got hit as hard as a booth got hit hard at that show. So... Definitely, if you haven't gotten it, get tickets to Swarm Fest. We moved it back to 2022, 2021. This way, it's even going to be bigger. It's going to be better. And there's going to be more of you to be there with us. That's why we wanted to make it um, very special. We wanted everyone to be there. So check out the Catacombs. Check out the Coffin Comic Shop for some of those great Metallicar uh, deals I was telling you about. Why am I still getting all these? I wish it was designed so when you vote, they know and they can't text you, harass you with all these crazy phone calls and anything because 
oh, I'm about to lose my cotton picking mind. And my emails are full of so much junk mail. So it's like, ugh, I just wish this would be over with. <clears throat> yes, uh, Miguel, that is a true fact. That is a very true fact. Uh, Miguel said, uh, we shocked you at Fiend Fest. Yes. Um, I had done New York Comic Con the second year they did it. Um, and I was all prepared. I was pumped. I had tons of coffee in my body. I was ready to go. They opened the doors. Boom! I got hit so hard and so fast at my booth. Um, I don't think I stopped for a good three and a half, four hours. It was non-stop consistent. Boom, 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 boom. Um, so yeah, Miguel, very true statement. I thought I'd seen it all. Then I went to Fiend Fest. So now that I've been to Fiend Fest, I only know Sworn Fest is gonna be so much better. So Eric, I hope you can make it. Um, I'd love to see you there. Um, if you can make it, like say so you got another year, Eric, sign up. So. Join us, man. I think it'll be a, uh, it's going to be a great party. It's going to be a great event. And it'll be even better if you're there to join us. So not just Eric, everybody. I'm talking about all you all that have been thinking about going, but for some reason have put it off. Well, we move back the date. There's no reason to put it off. Come and join us. Have fun. Eric, if you're there, I will buy you a drink. Okay? Jay, you better be there, too, because I know I owe you uh, a, a shot, at least. I do owe you a shot. So, everybody, if you've been thinking about it, come on up. Join us at Swarm Fest coming up February 2022. Beautiful downtown Mesa. Check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Karaoke. There's going to be comics galore. All your favorite Coffin Comics artists, cover artists, writers are going to be there. It is going to be a weekend of just so much fun and debauchery. You'd only expect it from Coffee Comics. So real quick, guys, I'm going to be wrapping it up here. Uh, thank you, CBSN, for uh, allowing me to change my time from the 3 to 4 p.m. Um, I really did want to miss out on an opportunity to uh, do my show with you guys because thank you very much. Eric, I'll talk to you later. Uh, beer pong spreads herpes. Miguel, be very careful with that. Just saying. Statistically, just saying. So, Jay, thank you very much. Miguel, Eric, Haley, everyone who joined us today, thank you very much. I'll see you guys on Wednesday at the Catacombs. That'll be Wednesday from noon to 12.30. Coffin Comics HQ. Join us on the Sworn Nation. I'm Julian Julian. I'm sworn to you. Thank you very much, guys. Hope everyone had a beautiful Halloween weekend. And have a better week. I'll see you guys later. Hasta la bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you.